like, okay, somebody made a post on the Reddit saying, like, uh, how can I be anti, like, fucking pedophile, but how can I be, while at the same time being pro, like, murder of innocent animals? Uh huh. Shooting a bunch of chimpanzees with an RPG is just funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's just a guy on Reddit, dude. Yeah, I know. No, what well, you want to talk about? Don't act like, don't gaslight me into thinking I brought this up, you fucking dickhead. You kind of did. No, I didn't. I heard yeah, you did. You started you talking did. about Reddit. No, you started you, you talked about Reddit. First. Hot about you Reddit. you yeah. talked No, I did not. You walked yeah, in and you, you said would you how many more topics on Reddit do we have to have about you being a psychopath? You brought a lot of I was like, Well, I thought you were talking about that. Wanna know why, folks? Because John comes in here, he goes, I'm gonna airdrop you a video. I look at it, it's a murder. It's a death video. He, wants to watch death he never looked videos. at it. He never <laughs> looked at it, and it's a really good death video. God damn. It's just, it's a guy, look it up, guy, fans. <laughs> look it up, people. It's Indonesian uh, gymnast. Uh, he, he dies. He gets crushed by a barbell. Dude, that's sick, and that's going to really help your rep. Yeah, that's my rep, bro. Look at cut. Not that so easy rep. holding the mic, is it? Now, welcome to the big leagues, pal. Yeah. Oh, this is so look at this hard. fucking <laughs> retard. <laughs> the minute we started, the thing fucking broke. Yeah, dude. Hold the mic. Hold the mic <laughs> no, up I'm to your gonna, mouth. I know you like holding it because you hold things all fucking weak. Yeah, like, like <laughs> Cox. Cox. That's my joke, asshole. Yeah. I knew it was Cox. I've had it, it was, with you. I thought you were talking about like, everybody like, knew oh, it was Cox. Oh, we got to talk about. We almost died. Sure. I mean, let's Dude. one thing at a time. You're uh, obsessed yeah. with Reddit, and you're going to. So, what's going on with Reddit it, it, first? It's unbelievable. I had a high iron He's breakfast. He's unbelievable. On one today. The mania in his mind. Yeah. Is no, I had unreal. a high iron breakfast. I had you had a high egg. iron breakfast. Yeah, I feel great. He's blaming that. his breakfast on on his My behavior. Breakfast is so good. I went to a butcher, and I got a uh, I got a bunch of meats, and they were selling camel meat there, which was kind of crazy. But um, they uh, I got a Cornish game hen sausage, and it's delicious. Okay, nobody cares. And uh, so far, nobody cares. Well, what, nobody gives well, a shit about fuck that. Fuck you both. First of all, oh, we're on a show. Fucking, you, you can't, can't just, just be like, like oh, John, fucking, John. Literally, hold on. John treats what? the show like it's a, like an essay in school, and there's a per <laughs> word minimum, <laughs> and he won't pass unless he just <laughs> filibusters. He's like triple, the whole episode. He's triple spacing the, the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I'm making my words larger. Yeah, exactly. He's <laughs> using we, a big font. Well, why don't you say? something dickhead all i do you're is too busy shit. fiddling around with your fucking microphone yeah because i run everything here yeah, all right unlike you, all you, you run your fucking mouth yeah. over your, your boyfriend's okay. cock you homo <laughs> <laughs> anyways uh like anyways he goes phones phones are interesting yeah, well, I, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> we all like phones right about. Uh, anyway, fucking this table, <laughs> table made of wood, wood. I used to be a, you know, a woodsman. I, I crafted mis- wood at times <laughs> in my life. Wood, 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 wood. My, I have ADD, all right? I jump around a lot. You say you have everything every week. I got week. it all. I got it all. Every week you say well, you have oh, something. The track, we almost died on the way over here. Dude. How'd you crazy. almost die? Me and jo- I, well, this lady was being what, stupid you have a thought? a red well, I have more. <laughs> I for, I've forgotten more about thinking. You really know. have forgotten a lot. John, I, John, yeah, no, I told I've, John I've all week, problem. I go, there's no Dodger game this Thursday, so we're good to record earlier. I told him it twice, two days ago. Today, he goes, there's no Dodger game, dude. <laughs> I go, what? I, yeah, I saw told that. you that. He goes, oh, fuck, I forgot, dude. It's really, I'm like concerned. I'm, yeah, I'm I, need, con- I need to get it. I thought, I thought John was like trolling or something no, when he did that. Because I saw trolling. the same thing. You want to know another thing he did about two weeks ago? I wrote what it I down do? in my phone because it was unbelievable. Yeah. We're watching a trailer. Mission Impossible trailer comes up. John... <laughs> John looks at me and goes, dude, who's the guy from Mission Impossible? What's his name again? Tom and Cruise. And I go, Tom Cruise, you stuttering, muttering prick, you. <laughs> you dumb fuck. What is going on with you? Yeah. Is your brain, do you have a diaper in your brain? I don't know. I think uh, <laughs> I think I need like a CAT scan or something. Dude, are you okay? Do you take well, vitamins? No, you know what I, I, so I remember when I got that black eye during the jiu-jitsu competition. You've had a hundred. You're concussed all the time. So I, um, but it's like, it's like not going away. Dude, there, Will, my, Will uh, Smith's going to make a movie about John's life. <laughs> he goes, John, working in bars is not good for brain. <laughs> He's studying John. Hanging out with homeless people, taking them to Sizzler, not good for brain. Well, <laughs> Concussion. I think I have a blood disease or something because my black eye is like, it's still kind of, can you see it? It's it was I forget which. Yeah, eye on the, la- the yeah. left eye. It's just kind of it just isn't going away really. So I think I have a blood disease. That's also just from ba- blood disease. <laughs> That's what you just <laughs> casually go with. You go, well, my grandma had really dark shadows under her eyes. You so. go, dude. I don't know. Like fucking, my eyes are a little black. I think I have pancreatic cancer, dude. <laughs> I might have. I don't know. I haven't been to a doctor in a while. Like years. Who like has? Ten, like ten years. Who has? They're a bunch years. of quacks. These dogs. <laughs> what do they know? Huh? I've I've yeah. I've I've diagnosed myself with stuff that I knew the doctor just wouldn't wouldn't tell me I had before. You like had what? That. AIDS? 
Very good. Very good, John. Uh-huh. Very good. Wow. Uh-huh. Get at it. Look at you <laughs> wearing your fucking your R rated shirts. You think he's he thinks he's all edgy. He was just dude, don't ask what happened about what the what the ATF did in Rid, Ruby Ridge, Idaho. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm a fucking domestic yeah. terrorist, dude. Like I'm fucking I'm I'm showing up. Like am I dangerous? Yeah. You don't know. Would you like the PG thirteen target? You're like <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. It's a great shirt. What's next? I said I'd wear it. Protect yeah. my nuts. It's gonna squirrel in front of his nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, next week, huh? You and your gay you shirt. Fuck yourself, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> we haven't seen each other in two weeks, and I am hot. I saw you like three days ago. Yeah, but you just walked in to, to, to you know, rambling, and then you left. You like walked into the door and just. Oh, like, yeah, you were in outside. New York. That's why I missed you so yeah, much. Yeah, I was in New York. I was in New York. What a city. Never sleeps, that city. Yeah. I've heard that same thing. What a damn city. Tell us about how, what happened in New York. Uh, yeah. I just got, I drank the most I've probably ever drank in my life. I hung out with Sweet Connor, who's mm-hmm. uh, moving back here. He's going to live close, too, by the way. Where's he moving to? He's like oh, Angelino Heights, dude. That's so it's nice. Gonna, it's going to kick yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we did, um, I met these guys, uh, Chris O'Connor and Tommy Pope. They do the show Stuff Island. <laughs> Who's were, the one with the, um, like the gray, not gray, but it's like black hair, but it's like a little gray thing. The like Joe Pesci guy? Yeah. Yeah, Tommy. I love that guy. He's fucking awesome. I love dude. O'Connor. They dude. were both the coolest guys I've ever met maybe in comedy. Mm-hmm. Like like the most fun I've ever had immediately after meeting people. The episodes, I think, I think they're going to be really wild. You said good. in the group text, th- these can only go on Patreon. What? No, they're going to have to release one publicly, but I really, I brought the... You brought the heat? I brought the West Coast <laughs> NC-17 heat, you know? <laughs> What'd you say? I just said a lot. <laughs> all the words. About a specific group of people or? Every people. <laughs> all, all persons. I just was, it was wild. We'll see. I, I, hey, who knows? It could be a rambling slop. Like, I have no clue. We were hammered. I believe in you, Those bro. guys drink like crazy. The lives they have. It made me, there was a moment where I was like, I might, I should move, I should break up with Ida and move to Queens. <laughs> and just drink my life away. Would they, they drink, don't they have kids? No. No, oh shit! No. I thought they did. No. So they just drink and have fun all day. All day. They just That's record. Amazing. Hammered. You want to go? I would move. They'd love you. Yeah. I would love to move. They, they were so fun, dude. They were my, but literally, like some of the most fun I've ever had in in my entire life doing comedy and me. Because you know, you meet. You don't. I, thank God we drank at a, at this bar that they basically felt like they owned. <laughs> like they yeah. it seemed like they owned a bar. Like the bartender was like kind of kicking people out so we could keep hanging and talking shit. It was unbelievable. <laughs> and they just when you when you meet people to do podcasts, it's always a little awkward because it's like I don't want to meet you on air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Yeah, I want to like see if like we mesh, you know. But yeah, we immediately meshed. It was so much. You fun. You have a first date, and uh, yeah, it'll come yeah. out in a couple weeks, I guess. So we'll see how it goes, but. uh yeah, this, this is the best. New York was cool. It was just awesome. You know, do they load up a, like five apps? They're what? They're those guys. Yeah, because okay. I think they're just like we're fucking hammered. Let's get. Let's hit the studio. And, <laughs> yeah, we'll have, one in, have one in the have one in the tent. Yeah, but um, it's a great city. I don't know. You know, it's never exactly how you want it to go. You always have like these imagine. You know, you have these like fantasies. Like you get there, you are playing hopscotch with all these black kids. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like some, somebody somebody uh, undoes the fire uh, hydrant and everyone starts dancing in it. They do the, 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 yeah. the, the milk crate challenge, the milk, but you get to the top. You get to the top and everyone raises your hand. Yeah, and they go, You're yeah. the only white guy we like. <laughs> You're dunking at a pickup yeah. game. Yeah. But it's never that. But it's still just it's 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 a great city, you know. It's where they they filmed a uh, hitch there. It's a the history. Is oh. unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> you start telling people the city's great. Every time they I go there, hitch. I tell people I'm like, "This is where they filmed hitch." <laughs> 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 but yeah, no man, it kicks uh, ass. We all gotta go, uh, you know, and just just fuck around because it, it was. I went to a fucking classic deli in 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 Red Hook, Brooklyn. Where I'm all going the next Sopranos week. Those guys went. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go. Defontes. Defontes. What was the a red? Red Hook. I'm gonna go. I, I have to go there for work next week. I'm gonna try to go there. Yeah. John's never really been. It, 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 you're, you're, I've been to New York a bunch, a few times. What yeah, are you talking about. Yeah, I went. I went there right when the pandemic started. I was well, in New York. New York needs but. Joey because every time Joey, Joey only Joey thinks New York is just Times Square because his job always sends. Yeah, him Joey to didn't Times know Mexico Square. City was like a so city. Th- about a decade, Joey literally thought New York sucked ass because it's. He thought it was just an Applebee's and an M M&M and M store. Well, yeah. So what happened? Like my, there's a conference in Times Square for my job in my industry, like once a year, and it's yeah. always in Times Square. And then, so I just go there. My hotel's there, and like maybe I go hang out with Connor's uh, somewhere. But for the most part, I'm just walking around that area, and I was just like. 
The New York kind of fucking sucks dick. It's just loud and touristy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah, Times Square is awful. It's, it's yeah. like being stationed like on Hollywood Boulevard in yeah. yeah. L.A. And you're like, wow, I guess L.A. is just a nonstop sex traffic. You never went to Brooklyn or anything? No, or? I have since then, but there were like there was like a decade of me going to oh, Times okay. Square. You went to Brooklyn with me and Connor once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and your friend right. Hunter. And, well, Pedro, Pedro once too. before that, I went to his neighborhood, Bushwick, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I fucking was clueless about New York for the long. I'm like, oh, I guess this city just fucking sucks now. New York City's amazing. I, I really yeah. want to go to like Rhode Island and like Maine and shit, though. We should probably go out there for like fall or something. That's like the dream. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I'm sure that's a blast. What? Like colors changing and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. I've never been to Boston. Yeah, I'm I don't think we Boston. need to go. Who cares? Why not? It's fucking Boston. It's, it's fine. fine. I've, I've been. Really? I'm sure it's okay. The Liberty Trail and shit. Yeah, fucking... I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. I want to go to just see it and so stuff. So you're just but... a New York City guy. I'm a New York guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jesus. No, I just I mesh I I I, uh, I feel good when I'm there. It's just it's you feel alive. You it's just it's, yeah. I would I would die if I lived there. I'd literally be dead in eight years because yeah. everywhere you walk, you go that bar looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> you go those sandwiches look great. You go I go to the bar, get hammer, ate those sandwiches, and then yeah. the next day you go I'm not drinking today, and then you walk by and you go but there's another cool bar. <laughs> yeah. Look at this bar that looks different than that bar. Yeah, you go and then you all the burrows sound cool. You're like oh I'm in Fort Green. I'm, 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 I'm in fucking. <laughs> I've been rookie down. I'm in Babadoo. And you're just like, well, I gotta try the bars here. I'm in fucking, I'm in Queens. Yeah. Hitch went to this damn bar. Huh? Hitch went here. You know, I go, oh <laughs> <laughs> Every bar is a Will Smith portrait with a signature on it. He runs the city. <laughs> the home of Hitch. Yeah, man. It's like the 9 11 memorial has like, Hitch walked by here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they demolish strawberry fields to make the Hitch Memorial Garden. Yeah. No, honestly though, like I, 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 the last few times I'd been in New York, I, I, I couldn't really get out of Manhattan. Which Manhattan's great and all that, but now I'm like I'm more I'm more of a across the water guy, more of a yeah. borough guy. <laughs> fuck the fuck Manhattan, fuck Central Park, fuck all that Home Alone horse shit, fuck fuck the Village. Fuck all yeah. those people, you know. Fuck the kids at, at Columbia. The thing, the Brooklyn thing, and Queens. It's That's just so my, old. It's so old. It's so fucking old. And it, it simultaneously sucks so much ass, but it's is stinky. also so awesome. It's a stinky fucking city. And in the summer, yeah, I think I had twenty drinks that day with Chris and Tommy. That's insane. I think I drank twenty drinks, and I woke up fucking great. I felt great. <laughs> we started all over again. Cause it's just you're sweating oh. and you're eating pizza and the water in the in the pies. Oh, God. You know they use a different water. They got a different water, they got a different water out on. there, Johnny. It's just it's so cool. I I saw where Biggie lived. By the way, Biggie, pretty nice neighborhood. What really? Clinton Hill. It was like fine. Where he grew up or where he lived? Where he lived, like where he grew up. It was just it's a part. I, of, I suspect it's gotten got better. gentrified. It got gentrified, okay. but I still he was like he Biggie Biggie fucking like was a, a bookworm. He was like a kid, like a school kid. He he like had glasses and he like liked. Uh, he was like in. He was like he a had smart bad guy. vision and he was fat and he dressed bad because he was poor. He, was he wasn't crack. a nerd. What? I thought he was like a crack dealer. He, yeah, he was later totally crack. on, but he was yeah. a, he was like a reclusive. Like mom kept him inside. Like uh-huh. like you know. So like Marshawn Lynch's mom, where he was in a tough area, but his mom was like just like make sure you don't yeah. fucking get yeah. too crazy. Probably was gentrified, but we walked there from this like nice restaurant we went to, and it was hmm. like very normal. And it was funny though, like they the black dudes. Hanging out on the stoop, and we walked by. They were like, "Y'all looking for Biggie's house?" <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, "Well, yes, we are. <laughs> I love the notorious Big, <laughs> aka Biggie Small. Give me the damn loot, give brother. me the loot, buddy boy." <laughs> It was great, man. It was. It's a. It's a. It's. A, I wish I was there longer. Fuck, fucking jet blue. Those cocksuckers. You got. By the way, you guys really put the fear of God in me. That Patreon we did when we were talking about planes crashing, and then I oh, got good. the next day. I was a little nervous. You scared? A little scared. You got shook. A little scared. And there was some crazy turbulence. And they yeah. diverted my flight to Pittsburgh. Had to sit on the Pittsburgh. Uh, sit at the on the tarmac in Pittsburgh for like two hours. For weather or what? Yeah, I guess. I think there's lying at this point. I, I don't even know. Jeff what was Blue's happening. fucked. There, it, it's, 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 like I said, it's an invisible airline. Just eat the layover in Atlanta. Just fucking take United. You know, he, John always Airlines. says this. Like, I can, like I can announce, I go, we're going to go to Atlanta, okay? 
He taps what? the pilot on the like shoulder. I tap the pilot. No, no, no. That's what, when you take, when you take United, <laughs> How do I do that? No, when you take United or fucking American Airlines, uh, they're going to stop in Atlanta on the way to New York. But just yeah. to fucking eat the layover. Right. But anyway, yeah, we all got to go. We all got to We gotta bring the hate watch uh, vibe out there. I'd love to do that. You know? I, I want to meet those. Uh, you made that trip sound so fun. Mm-hmm. I want to get drunk. You're like, they all live in one big building. And they have their own bar. They have a compound. Yeah, apparently, I think, like, Shane lives upstairs in his own. He has his own area. And they then, have a slide that goes down to their apartment. <laughs> yeah, Fire yeah, pole. Yeah. We podcast again. Shade comes down shot cutting a beard. It's just like Adam Friedler uh, doing bong hits. <laughs> it was it was uh it's some of the most fun I've ever had. Honestly, maybe the funnest podcast I've ever done, too, by the way. Not the well, same. How dare you, I love brother. you guys. But, like, wow. you know when you meet new people? I thought this was this fun. fucking otter. Well, we've had, I've, we, have, we, we have more fun. I've known you guys for fucking you yeah, know, keep, 12 keep, years. Yeah. I'm saying, you know when you meet new people and the adrenaline kicks in? Yeah, you get the serotonin push. Yeah. You're in a new area. You see all these, you're bright and bushy-tailed. And you're yeah, all tra- exactly. you're traveling. It was you're that. traveling. It was that. It was a really, really great time. God yeah. bless those men. You God love. bless Stuff Island. Check I'm going to start watching. Watching that weeks. more, I, I never listen to podcasts. But Me neither. I, I love that Tommy guy. And then, like, what's the other guy? He's like Chris an O'Connor? Irish. Chris O'Connor. Yeah. He's Irish. Yeah. I think so. He's yeah. like a redheaded. He's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, he's, he's like cool. a, he's like a weird. He's like a like a like kind of a genius idiot. Like uh, he was, he's amazing. Savant. Yeah, I don't know. He just says things. Sometimes you're like, that's like brilliant, you know? Yeah. And Tommy's just got this. I don't know. This this he's this, just this, a slick son of a bitch. Slick what Italian seen. hilarity to him. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> God bless them. Um, you guys see that uh, that j- they're trying to cancel Joe Pesci? What? For <laughs> you know Sinead O'Connor then? Rest oh, in peace. Rest yeah. in peace. Yeah, I mean you're obviously no, I know that. you're honoring her haircut. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is this is for Sinead O'Connor. For Sinead, <laughs> or you're in V for Vendetta. I don't know what's going on, but. Uh, so she died. How'd she die, by the way? Was she like a heroin addict or something like I that? I don't. I just saw she died. Yeah. They she, I could see her doing heroin. She was also getting a little old. She was like 56, dude. But she could have cancer or something at that age. Yeah. yeah I guess so. But anyway, you, and we all know Sinead O'Connor's big moment on SNL when she tore up that picture of the Pope, mm-hmm. right? Because yeah. of like pedophilia and all yeah. that. Which, you know, she was completely right about. Way uh, ahead of her time. Was it, ahead of her was time. it for pedophilia, or yeah. was it because she was Irish? And the whole no, it was because of pedophilia. But and, and then, but so that wasn't even in like the narrative of oh, oh wow for, okay. uh, Catholicism at the time. So everybody yeah, yeah, was yeah. just like, oh, she's like a fucking atheist devil worshiper. Yeah. And now looking back, you're like that was completely standard. Like everybody says shit like that about the Catholic Church now. Yeah. She was bringing attention to like a very important crazy issue. Yeah. And the world fucking just um, completely just... They lost it. They hated her, right? Yeah, everybody yeah. was just yeah. like, she's a piece of shit. She was like banned from a lot of TV shows and, and uh, concerts and stuff and just uh, fucking completely just treated like trash. She was a one-woman spotlight. Like, that was like, you know, she was the original yeah, spotlight. exactly. That yeah, kind of fucked up her career, right? I think so, yeah. a little bit. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, I love I love that lady. I love anyone with convictions, that cares, that doesn't give a fuck, that, that will say what they believe, you know? So yeah. God bless her. Rest in peace, Sinead O'Connor. But then they brought on Joe Pesci, I guess, like a week later, and they fucking... You know, I'm sure Joe Pesci's a, probably a fake, proud Catholic. He's and he's kind of doing his his character on the show. Yeah. And so, just look at the look at this tweet. He goes, "Also, fuck Joe Pesci and everyone who was involved in this." <laughs> <laughs> so let's watch this clip here. But uh, before we start the show, there's a little matter I want to clear up. There was an incident on the show last week. Sinead O'Connor tore up a picture of the Pope, and I thought that was wrong. So I asked somebody to paste it back together. So we have that picture? There. I thought it was like Hulk Hogan for a second. It's Hulk Hogan. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, oh, shit, wrong picture, bud. I think that's a lot better. Thank you. Okay, case closed. It's a joke. Yeah, it's, he's it's a joke. Doing a care. It's yeah. a joke. He's doing a joke. Yeah. Don't get pissy now. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, why should I let it bother me, right? It wasn't my show. It was Tim Robbins' show. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing. She was very lucky it wasn't my show. Because if it was my show, I would have gave her such a smack. <laughs> 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 He's just openly saying you'd smack, smack a woman. A woman. <laughs> I would have beaten the woman if, if that was my show. Beat I'd beat the, women if... Beat the shit out of, out of that guy. I 
would have grabbed her by her, her eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just, they just, they never stop these people. It's like, that was a funny clip. Yeah. You know? It's him. It's Joe Pesci. Just it's, shut the fuck it's up. It's Joe Pesci, you retard. He's like three feet tall, dude. Like, He's also the guy that they would have play this character yeah. on the show after Sinead O'Connor did that. Yeah. The, the eyebrow joke's great. Because she great, had no hair. She had it's no fucking, fucking hair. It's quite good. No, Pesci's being Pesci. He's a, a little dirty Italian man from New York City. He's a Catholic. It's like that's what every all of his friends, all of his family, they all have the same belief. It's like he's just being honest. That's the opinion that he would have. It's so it's so naive to think that he would think anything else. Right. It is yeah. hilarious the disconnect that Italian guys like that are like Joe Pesci have with stuff like that. Like they're like that was very offensive to the I'm a I'm a I'm a Catholic. What she should have done, she should have stabbed the guy in the neck with a pen. <laughs> like, the things they portray are completely yeah. like they, you know, they play monsters on yeah. the screen that are just that they have charisma, but then they're like, but I'm also a proud Catholic. Yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm a peaceful man. You know what? One of the things that helped me get through mass when we were kids. What? When we were when we had to go to you know, cutting a hole in your pocket and jacking off, jacking <laughs> off. Oh yeah, oh yeah, to the upskirt of the priest. <laughs> God, he had a great sack. Dude. Um, was I was obsessed with mafia movies and like The Godfather and shit. So I hate. I didn't know. I didn't care about religion or anything. But I'd be in there, and for a few months, I was like happy to do it because it felt like I was like in The Godfather. Yeah, you felt like it was. A thing. I liked it. Like I would. I would do the Our Father. I'd do the Holy Ghost thing. And I, I remember when I would do it, I'd be like, I would. I would imagine like a guy getting his eyes shot out. <laughs> And like a baby being christened, you know, like that, like when I was a kid, I thought religion meant you were in organized crime. Yeah. You're, it was getting you closer. Gang your members always yeah. had like crosses around their neck yeah. and shit like that. So I always thought religion meant you were like a criminal and that's cool. I have even a more embarrassing one is when I was like 13, I saw the boondock saints mm -hmm. and I loved it. We all did. You did? Time. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, back yeah. in the day, yeah. Yeah, but so, like, they're Catholic uh, guys to get a message from God, and I did the exact same thing. Where after I saw it, I was, like, just more aggressively. Just <laughs> <doing that>. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a fucking Avenger. I'm just going, like, God, just give me one excuse. <laughs> give me a message, God. I want to punish people. Yeah. <laughs> it made you feel good. It got the yeah, juices yeah, yeah. flowing. I'd go to Mass, and I'd be like, Father, please forgive me for my sins. Mm. For I have stolen seventy five cents from the cafeteria. <laughs> you know, like Did it, you guys both have to do confessions? Yeah. We had to no, do it once no. a year. We didn't have to do confessions. We were we were encouraged to do it once a year. Did you at do a it? certain time. Well yeah, John had a lot of I don't confession. remember what yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I probably just I jacked off a lot. <laughs> I swear to God, I think I told the priest that one. Really? Time. Yeah. That's what I told my priest every yeah, time. I was like, I can't stop beating my cock. Yeah, like, he, it was crazy. Yeah, but also I had like kind of a perverted priest, I think, because he was like, yeah. Exactly. Like, hey, what do you want else to it's do? It's like it's like when I'm talking to a chick now and she says something kind of hot, and I'm like, oh yeah, what else? Like, tell me a little bit more. The priest is like, do you stick a finger in your ass? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, no. he goes, you know, the, you know, the ass is where the G spot is for men. <laughs> but no. the priest is riding a Sibian. <laughs> 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 like, like, Father, what's that humming? <laughs> <laughs> but he would go, he'd be like, I, cause I'd be like, oh, I think I stole, a, I stole a candy bar and I lied to my parents. I'd just try to get out easy. And then yeah. like, he would even go like, if, like you watch any porn? Do you watch any porn? <laughs> he brought it up. Yeah, yeah, he brought it. And then I'd be like, yes. You go like, what? <laughs> you just had a yeah. little look on your face. Uh, maybe I was like, uh, maybe I was horny. And then he would yeah, go, you had a and saucy then look. I was like, poor, I was horny for the priest. And then he yeah. would go, what's your password? <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, but, he goes, you got a Bang Bros password? <laughs> but then I remember I was like, yes, I, I like kind of nervously admitted that I have looked at porn. And then he'd go, you do anything else? <laughs> Ooh, okay. And he goes, how do you do it? Yeah, he, From the base to the tip? He goes, I don't understand what is. He goes, I still don't understand. Why don't you do it right now? He goes, try it right now. <laughs> goes, your, I'm like, I can't picture it. Why don't you just show me? Uh, he goes, listen, I'm looking straight ahead. Just try it. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are closed. He goes, I can, he goes, I, I, he goes I can, my eyes are closed. He goes, I could come to the sounds. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I never. I don't think I ever did a confession. Yeah, I just never. stopped going after a while. It was just fucking. I'm not showing up for that shit. Yeah, no, they like made bro. us go at um, at mine. I would skip school at that point. 
like senior year. Yeah. Just didn't show up. And no, we, I was in. I was like fucking in ninth grade or eighth grade. You went to a Catholic school? Yeah. Oh wow. For After like a while, it was an utter hell. It's the most miserable church. Catholic I had to church. go back. Standing and sitting. It's like the only exercise those fat fucks get. I had to go back for a baptism recently to that same church that we went to. The one by St. Francis? Yeah. And uh, I, I I did a whole mass there because my buddy's baby's getting baptized. And I literally, the second I stepped foot in that fucking building, I couldn't stop goofing off. It was like some weird like aura yeah, like in my fucking head. High school hit you all Dude, over again. I kept, I, oh, my God. The organ music playing. And I kept like pretending I was cranking up like one of those Jack in the Boxes. Because uh-huh. it was just, it was just like, me and my friends couldn't stop laughing. Because, you know, it was all my high school buddies. Oh, and yeah. And remember, yeah. remember when they would, when you were disrupting, they'd send you to the top. You'd have to go stand <laughs> I didn't get sent up the there, I got That's sent crazy. to the top all the time. The fucking. Oh, really? Yeah, I got sent to the Abraham Lincoln assassination uh, balcony. <laughs> I would always look up at you idiots and be like, what the fuck? And I'd be standing mean? there next to like two pedophiles <laughs> they'd be no, eyeing me they'd be, the, his tits are growing in they're, the priest walked by us. <laughs> <laughs> they go he's getting plump <laughs> the priest walked by us and he was like don't you boys fall asleep during my sermon it was like a real saucy thing he said to us i was like how does he fucking know we're gonna do that shit it was crazy man. because he knows he's the most boring man on mm. earth he's a fucking catholic the, the only person who says that is someone who's seen a million people fall asleep while yeah. they're talking yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. tons of filipinos Filipinos are, Filipinos are, yeah. You know what's interesting? I was looking at the young, like, teenage Filipino uh, guys. They all look like the game. Is that what? something? They all look like <laughs> the They're rapper of the tall? game. No, they, like, line up their hair They and line shit. up their hair, uh. and they have the same nose as the game. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> guys named, like, Bilal Hernandez and shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're Bilal. all... Bilal. Whatever their names are. <laughs> Luanig. You know, uh... Yeah, I guess they they've been they've been kind of hijacking because I feel like a lot of Filipinos they're more like Mexican and they're more aligned with Mexican and Black culture than yeah. like like Korean or Chinese just based on where they live and shit. You know what I mean? Especially in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially like Eagle Rock and stuff. Yeah, they, more like how would a Filipino sound, Devin, if they were like trying to join the Crips? Fuck, I haven't done a Filipino. That's voice what the in Asian ones are. <laughs> I can't, that's what Tagalog sounds like. Me. Devin, like Devin is the funniest Filipino <laughs> boy so. ever. I, I, man, I did it great one night, but I was so hammered. I fucking, I'm not sure. Devin started doing it one night when I was. We were both drinking because we were at a Filipino karaoke bar, <laughs> yeah. and I just, I, I was belly laughing for I swear to God, like an hour, and I just kept going, do it again, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> If you want, I need to grow. I want to. I want to come into your uh, to your gang. <laughs> can, can I join gang? <laughs> if I could join gang, I could bring. I bring the grape soda. We put grape soda. We marinate. The, we can marinate the. the uh, we can marinate the chicken in the grape soda. <laughs> My culture. That's what we do. We like to put skittles in the fried rice. <laughs> that is weird. It also kind of yeah. sounds Thai, or not Thai. It sounds like Southeast the ladies Asian. that do. Yeah, yeah, it's not really Filipino. It's That's just a good. Wacky. I love you. Thanks, guys. I love you. Guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. I was about to kill myself. But... <laughs> um, Floyd Mayweather says that he witnessed <laughs> Tupac's murder and he's never told anybody. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well... Sam, you know our friend Sam J. She posted a tweet where she's like, yeah, "There's no statute of limitations for murder. Like he could be in some trouble for announcing yeah. this." Yeah, Floyd Mayweather claims he witnessed Tupac's murder. I ain't never told nobody. And the thing that I thought the minute I saw this, we all know that Floyd has some uh, has some problems with uh, literacy. I, I imagine he couldn't read the situation properly. Very good. Right, folks? <laughs> right, everybody? Am I right? Very, very good. Somebody somewhere's in their car going, that was good. I'll Someone's take it. pulling over. Some- <laughs> <laughs> And anyway, that's all I have on that. Just wanted to make one stupid joke. <laughs> My favorite thing, De- I, I don't know why, I was listening to like a clip somebody sent me of her own podcast the other day. Devin did like one of those, and we did like, we said like very good. And mm-hmm. he just goes, oh, come on, I'm trying here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I do like 20 of those an episode. <laughs> I know, but I just love you going, oh, come on, I'm trying. And then like, next, next, <laughs> quickly divert. It <laughs> acts like there's a guy off screen with a big cane that's going to like pull him off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. God, it's hot as shit down here, dude. Oh, my God. Um, I'm not that bad right now. I'm just. I run hot, too. 
I, I like it. I like it. I, like I, I, I will be sweating by the end of these, but I'm yeah. not that bad right now, okay. still. So, well, you've been down here for longer, though. Yeah, that's I, why. I, I sit down here. I'm, you know, I'm in the lab all day, you know, pulling <laughs> clips. You get out to the otters, know, then. Coordinate. This is where the otters hang, you know. <laughs> so the, you, the bears are really welcome for two hours at a time. <laughs> uh, I imagine neither of you had the time to see uh, the two movies. Barbie no, and, and Oppenheimer. The only two I, I haven't. I, I want to see Oppenheimer, but no, I haven't seen either one. Yeah. Well, I was dragged to both. Oh, wow. Is this Connor? Oh, I know. Oh, I shit. Know. No, they were all sold out in New York. Um, Barbie stinks. You know, it, it's weird, though. It almost felt like it was made by me. It's like it felt, it just felt huh? like it was like, yeah, women are, they suck as much in Barbie land as they do in real life, and guys rock. <laughs> That's what the movie felt like. If, if Ryan Gosling wasn't in that movie, I would have blown my head off. Mm -hmm. Um it just, it was just very forced. Every scene's very deliberate. It's just every, it's it anti-woman. It, it's not. In my mind, it was anti-woman because the women were so annoying and the guys kicked ass. What were they doing that was annoying and why was Goss, like, saving the day? Well, they, uh, uh, it's like, it's just every, uh, the things that they say are all very forced feminist things like it's not it's not nuanced on any level yeah they're just so like barbie and ken go into the real world kind of like how in elf when elf goes into you know he leaves santa's, santa's lair and he goes yeah. into new york and they did that way better in elf because people in new york were like the fuck is wrong with you yeah, yeah barbie and ken go in and like for a little bit people are making fun of them but then like these construction workers start like cat calling barbie and then ken and then they both go like we don't have genitals or whatever and then the the, the construction workers go well that's fine like they're all woke construction workers. They go, no problem with that. And then everyone in the real world's also as wacky as them, so it doesn't feel like the real world. And then Will Smith is the head of Mattel. And God, that's embarrassing. They're they're all aware that Barbies come to life sometimes and leave. And uh, I don't know. Then America Ferrera plays the lady because <clears throat> Barbie starts malfunctioning and having like thoughts of death and shit in Barbie Land. Give me, give me one sec. Is Barbie a toy in the movie, but she looks like a, a human? N uh, technically, they're toys, but you never really see them being like played with. They're real people in Barbie land. How do they get out and of Barbie universe? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't they even make sense. They just go down a highway, and they take a boat, and then they take a thing. It's like, it's like, it's like Elf. It's the same okay. as Elf, basically. So then they wind up on Venice Beach. Like Eventually, they just rollerblade into Venice Beach. Okay. You know, as Barbie yeah. and Ken. Is it like a normal part of the Barbie verse life to travel out of Barbie verse, they, or did they, was it an accident? No, they. She's Barbie is told by ugly Barbie, like a Barbie that got fucked with by like a teenager that didn't care anymore, so like drew on a Barbie sure. and made him all weird. Who's played by Kate McKinnon? So then Kate McKinnon's like the ugly Barbie that tells Barbie she has to go into the real Good world cast, and, gone. and she has to find. <laughs> She has to. <laughs> <laughs> she has to find the owner of her Barbie who's starting to fuck with her and like having weird thoughts. Okay, and then that's okay. inflicting on to Margot Robbie's bar Barbie or whatever. So uh, it's retarded. But America Ferrera plays this forty-year-old mom who's the w who's the owner of Margot Robbie's Barbie. And they and she's giving all these like feminist speeches and shit and how hard it is to be a woman. But she's like a mentally insane woman that's still playing with Barbies and like writing manifestos and shit. Well, oh, her <laughs> owner isn't a child; it's a no, full grown it's adult. No, it's a forty year old woman. What the fuck? Oh no, no, it's a, it's a child. But then, but then the child finds out her mom has been playing with her Barbies. Oh, so she's got like. Is she's the a mom psychopath. aware yeah. that yeah. the Barbies are sentient? She, yeah, pretty much, because she like rescues Barbie from Mattel. It's, it sucks. This is it's, bizarre. Dude, it's very weird. Yeah. Listen, it's also bizarre that, like, Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach, like, made this. Yeah, it's very Like, lame. it's like, why, that's your next foray? Like, you're going to make toy movies? Like, they, you know, they, they've worked. Every movie they make is about, you know, the most obnoxious Jew of all time. Or, yeah. or it's about, a, it's, it's you know, sophisticated, like, you know. Indie. Indie yeah. movies. It's it's like if fucking we found out, like, oh, the, did you guys hear the new Cabbage Patch Kid movies being directed by Ingmar Bergman? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it, it was just odd. And so, uh, yeah, uh, by the way, the kid, so Barbie goes to the high school, finds the kid that owns her, walks up to the table, and the kid's like a freshman in high school, I guess, immediately goes on this big rant about fascism and bimbos and uh. just saying all these things. And I'm like, I guess some Gen Z people are saying stuff like that now, but 
it was just everything was so on the nose and so deliberate. But then Ken goes to the real world and Ken comes back and he's like, yeah, I've been being negged by Barbie. I'm sick of this shit. So he takes over Barbie land. He calls it Kendom. Nice. And he just like starts wearing like a mink coat and being like a pimp. He's and Conor shit. McGregor. There's like a, a six minute scene in the movie that kicks ass where Ryan Gosling takes over Barbie land. And he's just it's just like a guy's rock moment. Yeah. But then the rest of the movie just was really brutal to watch. Um and uh, yeah, does he just like turn it into a Hooters or like what? Is, what is... <laughs> yeah, along those lines, kind of. Is he banging like, all Barbies? No, but he takes Barbies home. He like he renovate like he takes Barbies home. He makes like saloon doors on the fucking whatever. It was. Yeah. <laughs> it was that sounds awesome. It was cool. It was funny enough. But I'm watching the movie. and I'm like, I know this movie's trying to make a point that like that's like you know men are retarded and women are they they have it hard but also it was like trying to be fair so it thought it was being nuanced yeah. cuz it also shows the, how the patriarchy you know how men are fucked with too or whatever but it just it was just too forced it was so forced like every movie you go see now it's like do they think we're all retarded yeah. and they do they do they do 100% so they saw Oppenheimer yeah what was that like Oh my god, dude! It was like a fucking highlight tape for nerds. I heard it was a wall-to-wall -wall soundtrack. N soundtrack never stops because yeah. Christopher Nolan doesn't believe in any of his characters having any human emotion yeah. or sitting in any scene because he has no soul. Yeah, and his, mo his movies have no yeah. soul. I like Interstellar and I like some of the Batman's. Yeah, Batman's they, are good because he had people telling him to shut the fuck well, up. Well, they look this. great. Yeah. They look great. And he also had the help of, he had Heath Ledger given the performance of a lifetime. The guy died mm. for it. You and know? Bale kicked ass. Bale but kicked for, ass. Other than that, I fucking agree. Soulless movies. Soulless yeah, movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The movie should have been called Historically Important Fags with Transatlantic Accents. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, the whole movie is just it's a lot of people saying shit where you're like, I'm kind of aware of what's going on, but I don't really know what you're talking about. And yeah. then they would have a line where it just feeds the audience this is what's going on like an obvious line oh fish out of water shit. you know yeah, kind yeah. of and uh it's just way too fucking long and you, how long was it three hours dude. Yeah, be fucking shit i was falling man. asleep the last half they also don't fucking they don't show them bomb hiroshima or nagasaki what, what? which i'm like this is i thought this movie was about jews that hated sushi <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> that's that's what Oppenheimer was a Jew that just hated sushi because it's not kosher. So oh, I like, didn't know he was a Jew. We're gonna bad. drop. Yeah, that. I was. I, I, I didn't know that till like last week. I looked it up. Wait, so you knew it on that joke, and you still didn't really laugh. I thought it was great. I laughed. Wait, he wait, laughed. He was, he, hate sushi. It, he, he, he didn't laugh to the side. Exactly. I laughed to the side. You kind of you hide in your laugh. Listen, buddy, you can't. You know. Well, yeah, John, anyway. but I, it, if I would have known he was a Jew, I think I would have been, like, cackling. I don't think you would have. Here's the thing, bro. I'm not sure there's a single scene in the movie that's longer than seven seconds. It, it felt like it felt like a, it felt like a TikTok movie, but tr pretending to be Well, really so how do they do the nukes? Great. Is it, like, somebody comes up to them and goes, like, hey, the nukes have been dropped, and, like, but you never see yeah, it? Yeah, so basically, it all leads up to, you know, Oppenheimer's just dead set on making the nukes, because he's like, you know, we have to win this war. The of, if the Nazis how, get him first. If the Nazis get him first and shit. And then after they test it out, like shortly after they test it in New Mexico, because that's where he set up the whole town in Los Alamos, Los Alamos yeah. New Mexico. And they, they test it. And that's the one scene where you finally see like the nuke, you know, and the, the aftershock and all that. Sure. Shit, where yeah. They're all looking at How it. Was that? And a test. It was cool enough. Yeah. Like in, in the desert. Like in the nothing desert. even gets exploded. And they like ruined everyone's lives in, in New Mexico that live okay. there and shit. And, mm -hmm. and um, so then right after that, like like a like a few days later, Oppenheimer just finds out that they've already dropped them on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and then he feels all guilty because he like what, what? I guess he didn't think they were gonna fucking use yeah. Oppenheimer's it. the gayest guy. In he history. sucks ass. He's he, one of the gayest. He sucks things. ass. He can suck my ass. He's a yo. He might as well have been doing yo yo tricks the whole movie with his fucking <laughs> stupid <laughs> stupid hat, his stupid pork pie hat, and all his <laughs> stupid fucking Austrian genius friends and whatever the fuck they are. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I just couldn't give a fuck. I couldn't give a fuck about it. There's a 45 minute sequence in the middle where you're like, all right, all right, hell yeah. But the whole movie. What was that? Yeah, what was that about? It's like when it's gearing up, when they're when you're like, like about so to finish the nuke when, when, you, when you're like, man, they're really they're creating the most detrimental thing in human history. Yeah, you know. So that was cool. But then it just it's, it has his love life in it, which I could I never give a fuck about. Was he gay? Love life. No, he had, a, he, had no, a he was he was, oh, okay. he was banging everybody. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, he tries to poison. I, by the way, a bunch what? of spoilers what? on this. I really he don't give a shit. Somebody? Go see it or not. I, who cares? Uh, he tries to poison. The beginning of the movie, he tries to poison his college professor. He puts cyanide in his college professor's apple. 
Wow. And then he like has like a nightmare, like what have I done? So he runs back to the college and he sees that it hasn't been eaten yet, but the two professors are there and they're talking to him about theory or you know math yeah. and shit. <laughs> like, math and this stuff. Is, this is like drunk. talking about numbers. Is, we should do a thing where I break down movies drunk, <laughs> like about smart people. <laughs> And so then he, he he sees the professor grab the apple. Yeah. And then he's like trying to like, he wants to grab it out of his hands. Yeah. And then the professor's saying something and then he just goes like wormhole. And the professor's like, huh. And then he grabs the apple out of his hand and the professors don't think anything weird about that. And so he it's, saves uh, himself. It's like a kooky from academia thing. Prick just stole yeah, my yeah. apple. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. But and then it's the funniest part is that there's a scene where Oppenheimer he he wants to give the land back. He goes, well, can we at least give the land back to the natives? <laughs> the nuke land, <laughs> like the nuke land, like just because he feels so bad and yeah. shit. It's like man, he is such a pussy. It's like a high tech. Uh Poison blanket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they should have had a smallpox scene. blanket, yeah. but it's a, a, a fucking radiated mm. desert. He's like, no, no, no. I respect the people in Mexico. We put hatch chili on the atomic bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, I, I just didn't care, man. It also, I thought the whole point was to see crazy shit. Yeah. Like Nolan's whole thing is like the only thing he can do right, in my opinion, is like great visuals. Mm -hmm. And there were some awesome visuals, but I'm like, yes, nobody. I want to see some people perish. <laughs> that is Die! The, that is, at the end of the day, you are, you have to respect the genre and you're making a disaster movie. Mm. Yeah. Every single good disaster movie has a great sequence of a town being destroyed. Yep. Big city, people running, great landmarks being evaporated, yeah. shadows being burned into stone. Yes. Yeah. You missed out on, on the easiest... I, I, I didn't go see the movie to see the New Mexican desert be blown up. It's bro. almost more. I went yeah. to see Japanese people <laughs> be killed, and it's irresponsible. Because I thought you may, and, you know, it's irresponsible to not show that. Yeah, in a, in a heady movie about the nuclear bomb, it's kind of like a fuck you to Japan. To show, us like, show us, show us the suffering. Show us the suffering. Let the audience know the suffering that came from this. You thing. know, instead of Japanese yeah. people, they show Oppenheimer give a speech in Los Alamos to all these patriots, like because the war's over, the South Pacific's yeah. been won, basically. And he's giving a speech and everyone's cheering and he's kind of doing this like raw, raw America stuff, but he yeah. hates himself. And he start and then he, and then the whole movie is like smash cuts in between Oppenheimer's speaking. There's no pacing. In between yeah. him speaking to seeing like an atom explode or like the whole like the whole like room shakes and it, you know, he hears a bomb blast or mm -hmm. whatever. Or it cuts to fire and explosions and then it comes back to his speech. And he starts seeing the white people in the room that are cheering, like their faces coming off and oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. But still. Terminator 2 yeah. did that much better. Yeah. Still. Was, did anybody grab onto a fence and get their <laughs> turn <laughs> skeletons? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> they just got to that exact scene. <laughs> <laughs> he recycles it. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was another dud for me. Another Nolan dud. The first five minutes, you're like, oh, this is a Nolan movie. Do you like Interstellar? I still haven't seen Interstellar. Whoa! Because I never saw it on a big screen, so I've always been like, I don't want to watch it on my stupid little tape. And you hate sci-fi. I feel like you... No, that's not sci-fi, is it, though? It is. It oh, is. big time. It's big time sci-fi. I thought it's like space. That's yeah, but... sci-fi. No, but they're not like... There's no, no talking... They're going to other planets There's not like a green raccoon and shit in it, right? No, it's, it's not it's, like it's, fully it's like, fantastical, but you know, it's about stuff that doesn't exist now in science. It's high, high concept science fiction. That's but there's still crazy effects and visuals. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 I think I would dig Interstellar. Let's right? watch I it love next McConaughey. time. Next movie we watch. It's like, a big, it's like a Buick commercial, right? Big Buick commercial. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the rocket ship is yeah. a Buick. Next time, yeah. you're, next time you're trying to go. I think it's a Lincoln. If you want to go to a new planet. Oh, Lincoln. Yeah, Lincoln, yeah, yeah. If you want to go to a new planet, you got to get yourself a Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I'll never see the movie again. Yeah. There's three hours of just, it was so repetitive, just repetition, just the same thing over and over and over again in a new way. Sorry, it's not fun to watch guys do math. <laughs> I don't care if they're creating the, cool, the the most crazy thing ever. There are some good math. A beautiful movie. mind. Beautiful mind. Yeah. And I really liked, first of all, Beautiful Mind is the shit. Amazing movie. And then I liked, um, fuck, what is it called? Um, First Man. First Man. I never saw that. Oh, oh, I was, I just, who was the lead in that is Reynolds, right? Or Gosling. Yeah, Gosling's Gosling. in it. Gosling. That's about going to the moon, right? Yeah, yeah. That sounds fantastic. It's fucking, it's the guy that made La La Land and Whiplash and shit. Yeah, and okay. he's, oh, so, yeah. 
people like I think people like Devin wrote it off after La La Land. I I hated La La Land. Like, yeah, you, I need to see that. I, that was really good. There was this great. His daughter dies like very young. Is this is this uh, what Louis Armstrong? Uh, what no Louis Armstrong? <laughs> fucking Neil. Lance, Neil Armstrong. Yeah, yeah, and then so he goes back to NASA like the day after because he's like, yeah. we don't we don't skip days here. Like this is we're we're this is, you know, we're men, pilot, we're yeah. men, we're pilots. Exactly, I'm pilot. a test pilot and I'm fucking working for NASA. Hardest dudes on earth. And then it's just him. It cuts to him just like with a pencil doing math, and he's like scribbling. He's doing the math really hard with the pencil, and he fucking breaks the pencil. Yeah. And he's just like, I got to get the space, but fuck, I miss my daughter. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's good as fuck, I think. But for the most part, I know what Devin's saying. If you want to do a math movie, you have to really get like some soul. Yeah. Which mm. is a beautiful mind was pure soul. First man, tons of soul. Christopher Nolan can't do that, so it's just no. not. No soul, bro. It was yeah. just, and I, listen, I know I'm, I'm, I'm purpose, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm being, you know, uh, pig headed on purpose at times, but like I was aware of what's going on. It's just I don't need to keep seeing the same fucking thing over and over and over again. And you know, the movie should have shown more of, of like of of what's going on with World War Two. Yeah, and, and you're not saying anything too. unreasonable. Like, like from uh, you're not, you don't sound you're not saying anything unreasonable. You're not coming from it from an angle of I might my, my Michael Bay explosions. It's more yeah, no. like, it's it's there's a there's a broader thing happening outside of Oppenheimer, which is something Oppenheimer couldn't even comprehend. Which is the reason he was so fucking gay. Is that there are thousands of people dying every day. And for to him, it became this kind of borderline narcissistic thing where he, he is, I am death, destroyer of worlds. Like, honestly, like, the, in the perfect, did they have the scene, where, did they have a scene where he had confronted Truman about it? Yeah, Truman calls him yeah, like a, calls like him a, a pussy. Yeah, imagine me. That was like one of the better scenes in the yeah, movie. Imagine yeah. me the guy who dropped the bomb and then this fucking, like, pussy comes to your office and is like, I feel bad about making it. Yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah. No, I. It, I, it really isn't even that great. Of a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's the best bomb, dude. What are you talking it's, about? It's, it's, I guess, like pound for pound, it's the most powerful or whatever. But it's like not the deadliest. And uh, it isn't. No, the deadliest one used for sure. Bro. Oh no, like a fucking fire bombs have killed more people than here. Those are multiple bombs, a single bomb, single yeah, that's unit what I said, bomb. Pound for pound. pound okay. Pound but, for pound. Fire. Like my brother, <laughs> my just, brother hit me up and was like, "Dude, for like, I watch, I just watched up, and I'm he's like, for you love bombs, like, why don't you ever talk about up? And I, I was basically just said like, first of all, it's an overrated deadliness wise, and also plutonium is the most pretentious material on fucking planet Earth. Yeah, where it's like nobody can get it. Like if Ted Kaczynski got his hands on plutonium. It'd be a game over. I yeah. mean, Truman and fucking Oppenheimer would have looked like the biggest cucks in town. <laughs> <laughs> Not the take I expected, but I guess I should have. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, the, it didn't, they didn't kill enough. Well, I don't think that. I'm just saying that it, it's like, it, you know... Technically overrated, very good science, but just mm -hmm. not really executable in terms of damage because of how precious plutonium is. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, man. I don't know. It was just it, it's not it's not a bad movie by any stretch. It's fine, but it's every it's just it's it's it, it felt like it would have been played in a in a in a in a school. Yeah, you know, like, like, a, a lazy teacher puts it a on. A lazy teacher puts it on. Like it, 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 <laughs> exactly. it is, it's made for lazy teachers. Three for, hours long. Christopher Nolan, it, when he does movies like this, he's like a bunch of lazy teachers across the nation. <laughs> will, be, will be wheeling this out. <laughs> the studio's like lazy teachers. This is one of our biggest markets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I got to say on that. I mean. You ever see a movie also where you go, I'll never watch this again? Tons. Yeah. That was it. It was one of those. It was the same with Game of Thrones for me. I remember finishing Game of Thrones and being like, I'm never going to watch that ever again. It's just, and that's, nobody remembers that shit. Nobody even talks about it. Wasn't the last season one of the worst last oh, yeah, seasons a of, a, of a great show ever? But it was like, but the thing is, is it's so, it's too much. Yeah. That's why bother. In the last season of Game of Thrones, aren't they all like drinking Frappuccinos? And <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like coffee cups being left in scenes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, fuck! All right. Well, we got some other stuff. Uh, we got some. Uh, there's some crazy stuff going on in San Francisco. I don't know if you guys. Have oh, heard. I saw that. I hope it's David the Puppy. 
No, no. has gone loose. <laughs> they haven't let DePappy out. DePappy escaped from Alcatraz, and he's <laughs> like the he's rock. He's got two hammers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this is, uh, I guess, a stolen car drives off a cliff, lands upside down in San Francisco. This video was pretty crazy, so this is, uh, check this out. <laughs> the thing is, San Francisco is so bad, they were probably just trying to jump to Alcatraz, <laughs> which is now, like, likely the safest neighborhood in the He whole thought he city. was playing, like, GTA San Andreas. Yeah. The funniest thing is that it's a stolen car, but still all these regular people come and, like, help them and get them out and shit. Well, you don't know, you know? Yeah, you never know. You never know. Like, oh, it's one of the Kia boys. Leave him. <laughs> <laughs> These damn Kia boys. <laughs> and then, did you guys see the lady fucking shooting on the freeway? Yes, dude. Oh, no. my God. That was insane. God, dude. Hold on. Let me find this shit. Dude. This, she's still not charged. Shut the fuck this up. This lady's dude. still not charged. They're evaluating her. Oh, she's Joe, have you seen this? No. This is it made me, like, scared the other day. So there's a car. Some lady just, like, turned her car on the fucking highway. I think on, like, the bridge to go into San Francisco or uh, somewhere in the bay. And she's just naked in the street firing a gun at cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Holy shit. He is shooting. Dude. Holy shit, dude. Just firing. Can you do oh full God. screen or oh is that... Oh my god. Oh my god. Nope. Uh, oh man, shit. Hit the gas. Whoa! Yeah, why are you guys so fucking chill about Bro. driving? Why are you stopping? What the fuck? At least she, I think she ran, ran out. She ran out. She ran out? Yeah, the, the gun's up. Uh, Holy you shit. You know what's crazy is that's probably the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> that's their Lori Lightfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hit her with a car in that situation? I was. That's what yeah. I was saying. Okay, I was saying to to Ben and Jace the other day. I was like, man, when I they, when I saw that video, I was like, I don't know if I would have the restraint to not. I I would be in such fear of my life. <laughs> like you know those cars on the right. Hand you would be so funny in that situation, dude. The cars, the, these cars right here. <laughs> These cars right here, right next to her, and yeah. they go. If I saw she had a gun, I would have plowed into her. I would have like, I would have hit her with my car. You'd be fully okay to do that. Would I be okay? No, it, you never know, though. In I California, I think if if someone's actively shooting, yeah, I think you'd probably be okay in all fifty states. Because I, I that was my first thought. I was like, why is nobody ramming her? I would have hit her. You having a panic attack and then just <laughs> passing the accelerator. <laughs> I would have been so fucking fun. <laughs> That's my first thought. <laughs> Devin hitting a woman, a naked woman in his car. <laughs> 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 Well, yeah, what would you do? Would you not hit her? I don't know what I'd do, but just the idea of you doing that. Would you so casually funny. drive by her thinking she won't just shoot right at my car? I, I don't know, but like... It's, if it's, I saw her shooting at yeah. car, She was shooting at cars. Into cars. Yeah. That's, did you see the video? She I couldn't just, really tell if she was like aiming right <laughs> at them. It, well, yeah, but it's who cares? You know, the aim is like... If, I, if it looked like she was just like shooting pot shots in the air, I might just be like, She was also cruising. just shooting in... She wasn't just shooting in the sky. She's shooting like... Yeah, she's all, aiming. I feel aiming. like she's got a weaver stand. Tech. Malicious. Look at that. Holy she's in full aim position. Shit. Go full she, screen again. She shoots at that Toyota Highlander. Holy shit. He is. It's hard to see the end. Look at that. Shit. Holy shit. That she she's looks like, like this. Looks up into the sky a little bit. No, bro. She, she, she's aiming forward. If I was that Subaru, I ram her right in her back. Holy <laughs> shit, dude. Everyone's also like oh texting God. and they're oh playing music oh so they don't God. even know that Look she's- Look at that. She's oh in God, the yeah. aim position, Joey. Whoa. Where'd that bullet go? Pa or go back and freeze frame. Look at this. And then Look at full screen. Full screen at the when she shoots. <laughs> Joey's like, oh zoom God. in on her Look tits. at this. Look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck that, it's a lady. Oh, uh, why are they like not yeah, freaking the fuck out? That's at cars, dude. These guys sound like military dudes on the recording because they're like, oh, she just, her clip's empty. Like they detected the yeah, fact. Yeah, they knew her clip yeah, was empty. Yeah. Mm. But so yeah, they're man, just when I saw that, I go, I would hit her. I'd, and I'd be afraid about like what happens to me afterwards. You'd probably have to talk to people and, and explain yourself, but I think ultimately you would have been let off. Yeah. yeah. There's like I a think. flight style movie about a guy who hits a naked black woman on the freeway. Yeah. <laughs> but I, and I'm drunk at the time. 
<laughs> like, Absolutely. I, I, <laughs> you're driving drunk, but you hit a black woman who's taking pot shots on the Oakland freeway. <laughs> and they're just put. They're just really. They're really testing me. Yeah, they're like nobody could have pulled that maneuver off. <laughs> <laughs> they go, you clipped her from the side. They're like you did a 360 J turn and then you hit her with the back of your you car. You drifted right into her. <laughs> <laughs> that that that, uh, that freaked me the fuck out, man. That'd be a really fun moral conundrum to, to to tell a lawyer and be like, "Listen, you're driving drunk, but you hit a woman who's actively aiming a gun at other people on the freeway and shooting. Could you be charged?" Well, yeah, you can still get a DUI, but you're Do not. You gonna, get, but murder? No, you're not going to get charged with murder. Well, gonna, yeah. Um, <laughs> in other news, John, I found your burner account on Reddit. <laughs> Uh, oh. I swear to God, I have some of the worst smelling farts and shits on earth. What am I supposed to do? 25,000 upvotes, dude. I'm glad you're I'm doing really well. Congrats. Viral. Yeah. So John goes, all of my partners have told me this, <laughs> and sometimes it shocks even myself. During one such time, I accidentally let out an SBD What's on a an plane. SBD, dude? A super big... Silent but deadly. Oh, Silent but deadly. good, good. And within 60 seconds, the stewardess went over the intercom to let everyone know that the restrooms were open. <laughs> 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 I shit you not, I'm not being dramatic. It's bad. I'm currently sitting in the restroom, shocked at the wickedness that has just come out of my <laughs> asshole. Wickedness. Wow, this guy's me, dude. Fumigating in my own death stench, repugnated by my bowel movement, wondering what the hell is wrong with my digestive tract. Walt oh, Shipman. What a... Walt <laughs> Shipman. What a, <laughs> yes! What a great writer, dude. What a great writer. You know, it's, By the way, Maddie Rat just had his 30th birthday. This beautiful prose reminded me... Of Maddie. Uh, happy birthday, Maddie Rat, our greatest commenter. And by the way, I saw because I'm friends with Maddie Rat. He, I'm, he's anonymous. I'm not going to reveal his true identity, but he gave up on his dreams of becoming a paleontologist because he turned 30 years old, Why? and he believes it's too old to be a paleontologist. No. He's like, it's a young. He's like, I, I listen. I've given up on the fact that I'm going to be a great paleontologist because I, I just turned 30. He goes, but I'm very thankful that some people appreciate me. And then it was a screenshot of us. Of us. Wow. wow. And he just turned wow. 30. And listen, don't give up on that, Matty Rand. Sorry, this is yeah. an odd time to bring this up. But I had to do it because I love him and I love his comments so much. It's kind of funny that he, he looks at us like we're already dead. Like we're like he's a paleontologist. He goes, but the only the only fossils that appreciate me are the three <laughs> men on the Hate Watch pod. <laughs> Poor Matty Rat. Matty, you're not too old. Thirty's young. Yeah. You're in Guyana right now. You're fucking on the beach. You live your life. Live your he, life, dude. Be a paleontologist. Be a paleontologist. Maybe it's not sensual enough for him. Maybe it. He's maybe, a very erotic guy. Maybe it's not erotic enough for no, him. What's more erotic than finding old bones and like brushing them gently with a brush? And saying, <laughs> <laughs> you're, fucking, you're like looking like these two dinosaurs fucking. <laughs> You know, that's very erotic. Like the curves of their tits and uh, shit. <laughs> he goes, the swiftness with which the Big Bang happened was just yeah. so sensual yeah. and erotic. Just r- running his finger down a T Rex femur. That guy's got one of the best vocabularies on the internet. Yeah, he's amazing. Mighty Rat's great. He's a goddamn. We were shocked at first at your schizophrenic being. commenting, and then we realized you're actually a. Gym. Well, he does have a problem. Like you do need. He does. He does. T- uh, He's, a, he's a silly Billy. No, times, no, don't say that. But I love him. And he's, <laughs> he's, no, he's honestly one of the most, like, well... I, I don't know. I've never seen better comments. Like, we have like, fantastic supporters. He, he, I will say, so I'm, I found this comment that he made recently, and uh, before I read it, I do want to say that I think he's, like, one of the most unique... He's a guy... I've confirmed that he's actually a Pakistani dude. Sick. And... Uh, I didn't realize that personalities like this came from Pakistan. Mm-hmm. And so I just want to say he's like a very unique and I've never read anybody that wrote like him before. Mm-hmm. But so here is this my most uh, recent favorite comment of his. And it was on the last episode. John, did you say something about like getting fucked in the ass? Probably. Are you kidding me? Oh, you kidding oh, well, every episode. Yeah. Was it a day of the week? Yeah. Well, it was a bear shit in the woods, but so, what's so, going on? <laughs> so he goes, I would love to watch John make it flower right there at the table. Wow. Such proximity. The first time a heavy set man flowers is always a thrilling experience. Whoa. <laughs> Holy fuck, Maddie. There should always be someone there to push the flower back inside. Okay. I love that picture of Chris Christie in his baseball outfit, to be quite honest. 
Something about a large man bearing forth his small pup is just so beautiful. <laughs> man. Thank you for being nice to me, Joey. It's been a while since I slept. <laughs> what is his last thing? He never sleeps. He's always something. He goes, It's been a while since I slept, and I had to scream so loud today to force myself awake so I don't get the sting. The sting? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, dude? He doesn't explain. This guy kicks ass. He doesn't explain. Holy fuck. No, I think he's like, listen, I can't tell if he's legitimately mentally insane or he's doing, or he's like an incredible comedian like he's an incredible no, no. prankster I, I might be a little I, combo might be a combo yeah. of both yeah. i've seen him i would love to or like, a latent homosexual living in a country that's he's openly like, gay he's openly yeah, gay. yeah that's great yeah he's oh he always all of his comments are i want to have gay sex well, with he's like shredded know, but, too but maybe right? he, oh in real life he doesn't admit in real it. life he doesn't admit mm. it so he goes to the yeah. comment section and he goes sure he's, sure he's, he's right he's writing like, yeah that's you know, possible 50 shades of gray in our comments i want to talk to him on the phone i want to like quiz one of his friends and just be like hey you're friends with maddie can i just ask you like 20 20 questions like what is this guy like it, you know is he does he make you laugh is he as funny in person as he is on, right. on the internet he might be one of those guys that only can articulate through through words yeah yeah, yeah like through through writing and also how the fuck is he so articulate in english he's, a gen- he's obviously like a genius yeah, he's got to be a genius i, 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 I think he guy. has like a high very high iq yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But he's very sensual, which is not something that usually comes up with very high <laughs> he's, IQ he's people. Very you know. sensual. He's very, he's very sensual. sensual. The man, the man's the no, that's words the thing. Drip. He's so fucking sensual. He's, like, yeah. <laughs> he's sexy. He's, he's erotic. He's sexy. Wait, yeah. <laughs> Matty Rat Shaxi. Yeah, everybody, everybody wants to admit it, but it's Shaxi. God bless Matty Rat as usual. And I think most of our listeners know who Matty Rat is at this point. We've brought Everyone on enough. YouTube, like all the comments are now like, I see a ton where it's just like, where's Matty? Mm-hmm. Where's Matty? Yeah. And then he'll post it and, and people will go now like, I love you, Matty. Like, keep commenting. Never stop. Never stop. He's amazing. He's an icon. Yeah. I love him. <laughs> No, truly, un- unbelievable. Hey, everybody comments. say they love Maddie Rat. I love Maddie. I love Rat. you, Maddie Rat. I love Maddie Rat. You're the best. Get th- you. You can get through whatever you're going through. You can you can get some sleep. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> you, you're you're allowed you, to, you you will sleep. You will sleep eventually. Yeah. He's like he's Lunesta. like a it's like a, he's like a gay Edward Norton in Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> a gay Pakistani gay Edward Pakistani Norton. Gay Pakistani Edward Instead Norton. Instead of Tyler Durden, it's Devin Costa. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh fuck! Yeah, Man. I have to piss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mm. Boy, it is hot as shit down here. I'm not mm. even hot still. I'm still not hot. I'm I'm doing fine. I sweat. I'm doing fine. I'm, a I'm built. I'm I'm built for heat. I'm a sweater. Yeah. Um, so what is this? Well, the guy gets upset when someone sits next to him at the airport terminal, and has that? Listen. This guy is like a little insane. Obviously. But if there is a seat open that's not directly next to me, anywhere I am I get I get kind of I get very subtly furious at the person. But, I go like you ever be in a movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people sit direct and it's like it's not packed and people sit directly next to you. I fucking I, I do always have an urge to turn and be like, what, what's your fucking problem? Yeah, it's pissing right next what to me. What is in the wrong urine. with you? Yeah. Literally, what is wrong with you? Yeah, it's a b- bizarre invasion of space. Also, I've never been in an airport where you couldn't just go to like the next terminal over, over that no plane is landing in in the next three and hours. Just there. go to the empty one. Yeah. Like, why do people have to be right near the terminal? Exactly. So ch- watch this video. I mean, he's a little—he's a crazy man, obviously. Yeah. But. You don't sit down on my shit. Oh, he's old. Yeah, he's retarded. I suggest you that. I suggest you. Oh, this guy's handling it like a chat. Well, dude. see, he didn't sit down on any of his shit. The guy's just insane. Yeah. He's not sitting on anything. Oh, he's, he's black. He's sitting on a chair. Oh, dude. And Crazy. it's a black dude really pissed I off. Thought it, I thought the headphones were white hair. Okay. No, no, no. It's a black dude. He's, he's, he's got the neck pillow. He's got headphones. He's do-rag. popping off. <laughs> Fucking Moby's talking to him. Hey, get the fuck up. There we go. Still crazy to sit there. Yeah, why would he be there? What are you doing, buddy? Is this guy? Is he in the CIA? Is he like an FBI informant or something? Yeah, what's going on? He's an FBI agent. Like, why are you still sitting so close to him? Fucking Steve Jobs. The guy's obviously a little insane. He doesn't like people sitting next to him. Uh, you know, 
Also, the the here's the deal. If that guy was yelling at you, if he was being completely under, if there wasn't an open seat next to you, and it was like a full ass terminal, and that guy sat down and started freaking out, then I would understand. Then he's insane. But like, I would like Fully. the guy. They, I mean, the guy's being insane. Bottom line. But if he some if I sat down next to the dude and he popped off like that, I'd be like, hey, buddy, relax. I'm sorry. I'll move over. I'll move over. I don't need. I don't, no, need I don't need. I don't need your have time for this. I don't have time for your bullshit. Yeah, man. I mean, flying's crazy. You know, it's crazy that like, anyone could just buy a flight. They could buy a ticket to a flight. Can felons fly? I don't think they can. I don't know if... Well... I don't, I don't think they can get on airplanes and shit. It feels like they can. Maybe if they're off parole. I'm can not- felons fly, Joey? Yeah. On Con Air? On Con Air? <laughs> fel- felons can book tickets, I think. I, they can get on planes. Yeah. I thought they couldn't, like, leave the state while, while they're no, on parole. If, yeah. Well, while yeah. they're on parole, yeah, yeah, they can't. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. after that, they can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah, can't leave the country. They can never get a passport. That uh, yeah, sucks. A lot of countries will never accept felons into their country. Mm-hmm. Doesn't that suck? If you come into felony, you'll just never leave the United States. Yeah, no, I mean, I know Canada, like, doesn't let anybody in like that. Canada yeah. gives people a lot of shit. Who wants Post to Post 9-11, uh, America made it very difficult for Canadians to get into America. Good. Good. Right? Well, yeah. as they should have, because they're like, Canada, you're not doing enough to stop, like, fucking terrorists from coming in. And then Canada was like, all right, well, fuck you guys then. Like, you know, we're not having anybody with a DUI even. Did the terrorists here. come in from Canada? No, but like they were like protecting their borders, uh, you know, like America, north yeah. and south. So they were like, hey, this is like a big, you're one of our biggest threats. Either up your high... fucking game, either up your game on security or you're, we're not going to like let anybody in. Yeah. So they kind of got revenge by saying no DUIs, no, no, a lot of, what did you guys just watch? Well, oh, like, some we'll, guy freaking we'll out. I'll show you again. Point. Just a guy at the yeah, airport freaks out because a, a guy sits next to him. You don't sit down on my shit. Which he's not. He's sitting in a chair next to him. He's not sitting on any of his stuff. I suggest you come back. I suggest you. It would be great if they were seated next to each other on the plane. You know what? You know what? That guy seems like he just went through a bunch of shit. Yeah, something you know happens. I mean, airports I'm air- give people stress. Yeah, airports I'm, I'm really siding with the make guy. People flip the fuck out. Yeah, yeah but I do. I, I I have a. It's a half and half. Mm-hmm. I hate when people sit next to me and there's other seats. Mm-hmm. I fucking hate it, and I don't know why. I've never done anything about it, but I've I, I've had a plane that was almost empty, and then for whatever reason, my seat was on next to two people who were sitting next to me, and so I would I was like, guys. What's the policy here? Could I should I go like pick a random seat? It's like the polite thing to do. Right. They yeah. ended up just being like, "No, go ahead and sit down. We don't care." Oh, deranged, deranged, deranged but, maniacs. But then also, it's like there's a weight issue where the pol- like you can't sit wherever you want because there's like a weight balance thing. Yeah, balance but whatever. What? Yeah. yeah, you know about this? Yeah, but that 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 applies. You can't go and sit in an empty seat. It, there, it's about the amount of people on the flight. I thought if it's really empty, I'm sure it could affect the flight. Right, exactly. Yeah, yes. like, I've never been on a plane where anybody's made an announcement like that. But, they need like an yeah. evenly distributed yeah. balance. It's like a boat. Man, it's crazy. These these planes are still not. They don't have it all figured out. Yeah, they have. That's why they have the rules on. Yeah, the it's still. It's, <laughs> it doesn't feel perfect. It doesn't no, feel Devin's perfect. right. Like it's, I don't want. Oh, you mean they should have like it's shifting creepy blocks? That, that you're on, you're on a plane. flight, and they're like, "All right, we're putting a bunch of marbles in seat B four, <laughs> <laughs> so we don't go down." Because I guess this is a pretty archaic technology. We still have no clue how this works. We don't know how we get anywhere. There's a stewardess going like, "Okay, there, Fatso up front. Okay, we need some people in the back." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't even know. What's the biggest size of a dog you could take on a flight? Because Connor and his girlfriend, they're they're driving because their dog's too big to fly out. And I thought I, they don't they have I, a compartment that's not that's like I pressurized? thought they have one like under, but yeah. may, maybe Connor and they, they just don't want to torture the dog and yeah. have, have it sit. You got to knock it the fuck out a, if it's big. They don't want it to sit in a pound, a no. flying pound. What is their dog? What kind of dog do they have? Mid-sized poodle dog. I bet they're like very close to the limit. That must have just been the limit. It's like a dog, dog. Like sure, it's like sure, a dog. Sure. So I, I always thought you could. I always thought they had a thing under the plane where there was like a bunch of animals. Yeah, I think. But if you go under that part of the, <laughs> there's, a, there's an arc. 
I always thought I always thought under it there yeah, there's like a guy in a big robe and he's he's he's, he's watching over all of these a bunch animals. Of bamboo cages. <laughs> no, I think uh, I think if they put him in that I think there is like a I don't I could be completely fucking wrong, but I think there I'm almost positive there's like a little section that's pressurized still that you could put things like that, like dogs in there, but I'm pretty sure the dogs have to be put asleep to be in there. Oh, because they'll then freak I, the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, and then I think that because they're put to sleep, sometimes it'll, like, fuck with their ears because they get, like, they'll get right. ear infections. So it's people that love the their pressure. dogs that don't want to, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that makes sense. Uh, there's no corner this week, is there? Oh, I fuck. I keep meaning to I thought do we were going to take a break for Hollywood a Hangout with Devin. We'll That's the next, next week one. We, we're, 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 once again, we're recording a day early. Because are, you going, I gotta, are you going somewhere tomorrow? Why can't we do it tomorrow? What's going on tomorrow that we could do? I have to go to, on this to go on a boat. Trip. Oh, boat fuck trip. yeah, the lake thing. Lake thing with my family. What lake? To that. Um, Nascimento or something? Some, I, somewhere up by lakes. San Jose. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of. It'll terrible. be fun, I guess. We'll see. Yeah. But so, so next week, Hollywood Hangout. Yeah. Or wait, when is Friday? What date? Next Friday is uh, what? Is, you know, because uh, I'll be back on the second. Yo, it's fine. You'll be back. Oh, okay, yeah. good, good, good. Yeah, we're doing Devin's Hollywood Hangout. So Devin's like a big Hollywood hotshot. A lot of people don't know this about mm-hmm. him. But he's been in a movie, and he uh, met Chris Pratt. And so yeah. we're going to let people... And he grew up in L.A. Yeah. You yeah. did, too. But no, I met Chris Pratt. Devin I, met Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt and I yeah. hang out sometimes. Like, I, he met me. I was delivering food to Warner Brothers, and I was in the elevator with him. And he was like, that guy, like, has it. And then Devin got cast in the movie. And he cast me in... Mm-hmm. Um, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park 9. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Devin was the uh, otter in the background. <laughs> he was one of those little salamander. He was the voice of an voice. otter yeah. that was like squeaking <laughs> for a millisecond. They're feeding it to a team of a raptor. <laughs> He's like, ooh. But yeah. Very good. Yeah. Real quick, you guys want remember my whole thing about how uh, how sea animals are sick of us? They sure. It. It's yeah. the year of the sea animal fighting back. More, inf- more, more ammo. More ammo. Check yeah. this out. Look at this. These... This is La Jolla. These sea lions, they're fucking just attacking people. They've always well, those people are way up in close to sea lions, bro. Let's watch. Oh, I'm rushing them. Get out of here, you fat pigs! <laughs> Damn, they yeah, move. Fuck off! Fuck off, you San Diego fucks! Yeah. Get back to your fucking taco shops. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! I love I love sea animals fighting back. I didn't know they could move that. What city out. was that? La Jolla. La Jolla. Uh, okay, San Diego. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, those people are fucking. They're rich. They're rich. They're not. They've they've gotten too comfortable around these these giant majestic beauties. Also, uh, yeah, sea lions are beautiful, but do not get close to them. They're they'll, bite them. they'll bite the fuck they'll out. Of they have you. huge yeah. teeth and they're strong. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just because they run like they have, you know, damp, like they have, like, you know, bone damage. Like they run on, you know, like they, they, they have a, run on sort of a Yeah, they yeah. have a pretty retarded run. <laughs> but, <laughs> but don't fuck with them. You know, they got retard strength. Oh, yeah. Sea lions are the retards of the sea. Sure. That, as uh, Steve Irwin used to say, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> Sea lions are the retards of the sea. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Do you have an ad this week? I got no ads. Oh, oh hello. I'm done Jesus, with ads because I'm dude. not like a capitalist pig like you guys. Are. Yeah, right. What what happened to your ad? I just told them, like, I'm done with this. <laughs> what actually happened? They didn't, they didn't ask I, I, for they another just, one? There's no ad this week, I guess. I don't know. Wait, but I'm you, also not a, I'm not like a capitalist like be you Be honest. What happened? Did they not respond? No, no, it was just, I had one for last week. I still haven't gotten the product, so I don't think they gave me another you one. Got well, your, you, you got abandoned by your, you got abandoned by your sponsor. Yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so, da- uh, Dragon Drink. Is, I love this. Dragon Drink is fucking loyal. They're down. Yeah, so uh, they don't really know how to use the internet. Why don't you guys pull it out in a timely fashion this time? You know? it's okay, why don't you, it how about you don't it's rush up. our fucking ad? Uh, by the way, I spiced this one up, I have to admit. I spiced this one up. I, okay? I I gave it a little pepper. I don't. Does I want to say it was okay. No, I think they want us. They every okay. like sponsor wants us wants people to like make it their own. We've been like kind of just like. Editing That's normal them. in podcast ads, Devin. Right, where you kind of make it your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You, they give you a script and you kind of spice it up. Sometimes they'll tell you like, don't make jokes or whatever. I haven't but gotten this that. is a Dagestan company. Nobody said that. I don't okay. think they. They didn't say anything about. They don't even give us a promo code. I don't think they even know how that works. I don't think, I think they, they know they, like they hired you guys. 
Huh? I don't think they even know you're doing this. Yeah. Somebody like paid the- us, and they. Uh, I think their idea is brand recognition. All right. Okay. Well, do it. Let's do it. Okay. Inshallah, brothers. Don't be sarcastic. I'm not. I'm into Dragon Drink. You guys are my, my brothers in arms. You're and, a fake Dragon Drink fan. And, uh, Go well, for you it, know, I'm not wasting the people's time with an ad, though. I'm just like, you know, I'm not a capitalist pig. I don't waste time on podcasts. Because they okay, didn't AOC. renew your ad. <sighs> they didn't renew your ad. Why? What no. hurts? What happened? No, they renewed it. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Did you injure? What are you doing? Yeah, what, you, what happened? I was sleeping on a couch in New York, and I kept sleeping on my shoulder. Connor, no spare yeah. bedroom from McNutt. You'll be sleeping on a couch again Connor's the more your uh, uh, sponsors abandon you. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> it'll be the street pretty soon. Yeah, as soon be as on Factor fucking... forgets about you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, you know, one. here we go. I'll be on the street. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, folks. Hold tight, because we're about to unleash the craziest energy elixir in the universe. Dragon Drink! Salam, salam, Dragon Drink, the rocket fuel for your soul, hails all the way from the wild mountains of Dagestan. And hey, we've got blessings and bloopers for you in our ad today, because blessing can be fun. That's right. Let's dive into this crazy concoction. Dragon Drink is packed with more power than a charging ram on a caffeine high. <laughs> That's right. With caffeine, this drink is like the wild stallion of energy, galloping through your veins, making you fly like a magic carpet ride. And what about those B vitamins, partner? They're the secret sauce behind Dagestani's fighter's endless energy. It's like a one-way ticket to energy land. Devin, can you stop texting, Gary? I read. I'm not. Anyways. I'm- uh, yeehaw! So true and taurine, it's like a tor- taurine wow. of strength, ready yeah. to launch you to a new heights like a jet-fueled magic carpet. But hey, folks, a little warning. Dragon drink is so explosive that you might need to be careful when you crack open that can. <laughs> <laughs> Alu Akbar. It's like having a little firecracker <laughs> in a can. <laughs> Kaboom! Handle with care, my friends. Ah, oh, but hold on. Don't let that scare you away because Dragon Drink is the true fuel of the strong mountain men in the Caucasus. That's right, amigo. Dagestani fighters swear by it, using it to wrestle grizzlies and conquer any challenge that stands their way. And now it's America's turn to be strong, too. Sip on Dragon Drink and you'll be the Superman of your own adventure. Leaping tall buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Leaping <laughs> tall buildings. These guys are like, That's just, I think they know, are like playing four into American, 9-11. I think they know like four American references. I don't think they're they like, oh, do Superman. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Superman. <laughs> they're they're like, like, this. Dragon Drink cuts through you like a box cutter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. Oh, what? no, don't. Actually, They're not listening. Go do that. I yeah, you fucked like my that. ads up last week for a great American company. Yeah, but that would make was like, they like Vegas you. cities don't have the same sense of humor. It's like factor. Yeah, they have, well, they have honor. They, what are they, they going to do? Are they going to ride their sponsees. goats to the ocean to get here? Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus, man. All right, you're in a ho- you oh you you're done. Sorry. Ha! Huh, faster than a speeding bullet and stronger than the strongest bull. It's the power of dragon drink, baby. So, folks. Hold on tight and grab your dragon drink. We're about to take this podcast to explosive heights. Buckle up, listeners, and let's ride this roller coaster of blessings and belly laughs. Powered by the mighty dragon drink. Uh, disclaimer. Oh, fuck. Could you play the video? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it again? Doug? You have it in your downloads. All right. Or your airdrops, All whatever. All right. Hold on. Let me find it. Here we go. Thank you. They're the shortest. You. Put it up. The shortest ad of all time. Why did they send us an eight-second ad? This is what converts. Sick. Yeah, right. Uh, so, disclaimer. Uh, disclaimer, Dragon Drink is an energy drink designed to provide a boost of energy and amusement. Please consume responsibly and remember to handle with care. It's the It's explosive in the best way possible. Mm, okay. <laughs> Very. Are you, this is real. This is there. They told you to say that. <laughs> that was them. It's explosive in the best way the, okay, possible. Let's, I don't know if that's. I don't think not. they understand. Dragon Drink they does not guarantee. Dragon Drink does not guarantee wrestling matches I think with they Grizzlies. Understand too much. Shut up. Shh. Don't say that. Wow. Dragon Drink does not guarantee wrestling matches with Grizzlies, but it sure can make life more adventurous. Thank you, man. This is. They're like the. the we're like uh, we're like Cat Stevens doing ads now. Yeah, we're, we might as well Yousef convert. Islam. Yeah, incredible. Mm. Well, yeah, Dragon Drink. Check them out. Thank you. Check for... out Dragon Drink, guys. Hey, guess what? They shouldn't check out. 
don't what? don't do it. The, the maybe the sponsor that dropped you. They didn't drop me. It goes on a weekly. They drop. They they sometimes they don't send me. An They've ad. had a lot of time. <laughs> We've been off. That sucks, dude. We did it last week. What do they pay? Nothing. I get nothing from these. Companies. Are you kidding? It's so low. You guys told me six hundred. I'm like, I, I'll have for to three though. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't gotten nearly that. So was it like a rev share? You get like a commission the on? Mo- I've made a hundred and like like seventy dollars from the ads from like a month ago. Hmm. I thought it's nothing. I, I thought you. Were I don't s- know what's going on. Wasn't they're using? What was the first Everybody ad? Uses Sheath me. was good. Sheath used me up. Mm-hmm. Didn't they pay? I think some of our fans bought Sheath, and they still haven't even told me like if we've sold them or how many we've sold. I don't want to say anything bad about your sponsors. Yeah, please. I don't, I don't say anything bad about yours. I'm not. You used you to. Literally just said and they, you did a ton. Like what are you talking about? Race, horribly racist remarks about it. Like, they write on, like they write on goats. To, I know. Jesus. The whole ad is about like 9 yeah, like 11. But they can say it. No. You know? And also, yeah, they, they yeah, can. It's like, it's like, you know, black guys can make jokes about being black and stuff, they can make jokes about being terrorists. Well, that's not the same thing, you <laughs> fucking racist piece of I, shit. I don't know what that meant what either. What the hell did that mean? I disagree you know, with both of you right Jesus now. Christ. This mic's all fucked up. Yeah, good. Anyway. It's, it's trying to, it doesn't want to let you speak anymore. <laughs> all right, folks. Um, yeah, we gotta, we'll got we get back in the swing of uh, doing some corners and stuff, because this pod is not the same without the songs and the corners. I'll tell you that much. Can we do a song with no corner? Do you have any songs? Is it about like John being gay or something? Sure. All right, hold on. Let me try. What song would you pick? I've been thinking maybe like Velvet Underground or something. Why do you always pick like the Hell hardest yeah, sounding Velvet songs to sing to? Because I like to challenge myself, retard. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a line from Whiplash. Um, all right. Uh, Who loves gay cum? <laughs> Yes. We know John does. Why, this good. is actually the song. Hold on. Oh, that sucks, Fuck. Dude. Man, oh, that yeah, was like going to be up, good, man. dude. Who loves the sun karaoke, maybe? Did you say who loves gay cum? Yeah, that was really that, good. That was good. That was very good. Here we go. Let's try it again. Also, if Greg and Drink, stop listening right now if you're listening. <laughs> All right. The audio sucks. I'm not using mm. that either. I don't, I don't fuck around with, with the people here. He's an artist. Um, He's like Eminem going, hey, I can't hear the fucking bass. No. Man. More bass than my headphones. They don't have an instrumental for Who Loves the Sun? Uh, it's kind of a second rate Velvet Underground song. It's a good Velvet Underground song. You just don't like yeah. what I'm about to do to you right now. I never fucking. Oh, dude, I love what you do, bro. Dude, I'm about How to you, dominate dude. you right you're now. Not, you I'm more, about to butt fuck you. You're dude. not about to butt fuck anything, buddy. All right, we'll have to go with the The first time version. a big man flowers is always a beautiful moment. <laughs> there always needs to be right, some there to push again. it back in. Who loves gay cum? Mm-hmm. Oh, we know John yep, does. Yep. He likes to pretend that it's strudel glaze. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Very good. He loves the way it makes his face all sticky. <laughs> he walks around town telling people it's sunscreen. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Who loves gay cum? <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Who loves gay cum? John, John, John loves gay cum. John, John loves gay cum, cum, cum. And he loves it in his ass. And his face, and his ears, and his nostrils, and his his butt. Yeah! Who loves gay cum? John walks around town. Trying to sell himself, it's in a bun. (laughs) He tells people that he'd like to come in their ass. (laughs) They bite into him, and then he goes, I'd like to bite into you. (laughs) They go, Why is my Cinnabon talking back? (laughs) Ba ba ba. John loves gay cum. It's very good. Very good. Ba, ba. John loves gay cum. Ba, 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 ba. 
John loves gay cum. I'll repeat myself. Oh, yeah. But John, John loves gay cum, cum, cum. John, John loves gay cum. Don't know what he'll do today. Probably get into mania. Oh, taking a homeless guy out to Sizzler. Then at three, I'm breaking a moped. Then at four, I'm fixing the moped. <laughs> then at five, um, I'm driving my car with my feet. Oh, yeah, John loves gay cum. Thank you all for listening, folks. Thank you so much. Joey Arla Florida on Instagram. John Batman on Instagram. I love you both. Dragon drink. Dragon, Dragon drink, drink energy, baby. Yay! We love you. We love you all. Good night. Dragon drink's been getting weird with me, by the way. Or don't 